Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm subbing in for Greg today. I hope I don't bore you guys. I know Greg is the whip. But anyways, we got a 71 Chevelle Rotisserie Restored Convertible here. Um, a few of my favorite things in this car, absolutely beautiful chrome paint. Under the hood is my favorite part. It's got a 502 crate in it. Um, absolutely beautiful. The paint is uh, absolutely immaculate. The stripes are under the clear coat, so it's very well done. All the margin trim is absolutely beautiful on the car. One of my favorite years here. I know everyone likes the 70s, but 71s are my favorite. Look at this beautiful white interior. Automatic. This one's built for driving. Five, 502 crate, like I said, gives you plenty of power. Oh, uh, just around 500 horsepower. It's really tough to find high quality convertibles like this. But usually back in the days they rusted from water getting in through the tops. But this one's absolutely solid as they can be. Check out the chrome bumper on this guy. Absolutely beautiful. No expenses spared when they built this car. Remember at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are not a consignment dealer. We use all our knowledge to go out and select the highest quality restored muscle cars we can. Um, zero consignment. Every car is in our inventory because we chose it to be here. We wrote a check for it because we deemed it very, very high quality for our clients. Remember, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're dedicated to parking your dream in your driveway. I'm available seven days a week at 248-974-9513 and live Vanguard Motor Sales. Park your dream in your driveway. Right, let's take the 71 drop top for a drive beautiful 71 Chevelle convertible powered by a 502 crate motor absolutely beautiful Malzane blue uh, white stripes everything has been touched on this car no apologies everything brand new dash all the gauges work even the radio works um, you got a power top just unbelievable Very responsive brakes, power steering, um, everything you'd want when you restore a car. A big block, power steering, and power brakes. Don't get much better than that, guys. It's got the cowl out there, too. As soon as we get some open leeway here, I'm going to have Trevor throw, our, throw the camera on the cowl hood, and you can see what that does when we hit the gas. Michigan roads aren't the best, let me tell you that. Very, very low production, 71 Chevelle convertibles. Um, and then to find one in this condition is just really, really rare. Let's see what we can do here after this light. We're going to try getting a little power and get that flap open for you. Even the bezel on here is beautiful. No scratches or anything. Just awesome. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this thing opened up now. There she goes. Ooh. Nothing like a little cowl induction, baby. Remember, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're non-consignment. We buy every one of our cars. We use our well, all our knowledge, I should say, to go out and recruit the best inventory we can. 
and uh, it's actually very difficult to find really nice cars like this anymore. Give us a call seven days a week. My name's Tom. I'm available at 248-974-9513. And uh, let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dream in your driveway. All right, guys, and this is where it all happens. 15 100 Keel Street. This has become our service center and our shop where we bring in and take out beautiful muscle cars. You need to fly into Detroit Metro and come out and see us. We're only 30 minutes away. All right, guys, this is the underside of our 1971 Chevelle. Uh, starting from the back forward, as we always do, uh, I'd like to point, point out the uh, paintwork here on the uh, lower valance here underneath the bumper. It looks really, really nice. Uh, looks like they wet sanded all of this here. I don't see really any orange peel or anything like that in it. And when people take the time to do the underside as much as the top, once again, evidence for high quality restorations, which is what we like to see here. Um, obvious, it has a, a brand new gas tank in it. Looks like brand new straps as well. Uh, obviously, it looks like a brand new exhaust on top of all of that. Uh, no big surprise on a frame off restored car. GM 12 bolt rear end here. It is a posi traction rear end. Uh, based on the date code, it's probably the original rear end for the car. Um, it is 1971, correct? I didn't already say it, 331 gear ratio in here, uh, coupled with the Turbo 400 automatic transmission. This thing should uh, be pretty cruisable in modern traffic on the freeway, no problems. On either end of it here, we do have a set of drum brakes. Uh, here at Vanguard Motor Sales, we do know our drum brakes. I can promise you that those would be set up correctly. Um, <clears throat> we do have a set of, looks like, stainless brand new brake lines on it, brand new whip hose on the top. Of course, factory four link here with the reinforcement plates, as you see. We do have a sway bar here as well, uh, factory. Uh, good feeling U-joints, drive shaft looking normal. We do have uh, obviously a brand new set of mufflers on it. XL Performance is what these are. Uh, these particular ones are called. Looks like the parking brake is doing its job. Everything looks like the uh, parking brake cables are all brand new. Actually, are the plastic coated, so they're more modernized. Um, another cool thing that I like to see, or I like to see in this car, is you see that all of our body plugs are not spray painted black. You know what I mean? Uh, implying that the, these weren't out. So this car, once again, good evidence for a high quality restoration, the car, entire car being blown apart in order to restore it. Uh, brand new brake line over here, brand new, uh, actually get that, I mixed that up. Brand new, uh, that is a brake line, excuse me, brake line, fuel lines over here, all of it being brand new. Uh, another cool thing that I like to see on this car, and I checked it out beforehand, uh, this uh, seam up in here, or this spot up here, where a lot of stuff like to collect on these, all of it's nice and clean, uh, and it's all been painted to the same degree that all this stuff has. Once again, evidence for frame being taken off the car, that and all the body uh, bushings are new. Uh, frame being taken off the, you know, from underneath the car, and uh, the restoration being done properly like that. And on the top of the frame, feels nice and smooth, no scale. Once again, evidence for a high quality restoration. Moving forward of all of that, uh, as you heard me mention here in the back, turbo 400 automatic transmission. This one I do not believe, believe to be the original one for the car. This is a 1979 model year transmission, but uh, turbo 400s are very sturdy transmissions. Coming forward to that, exhaust continuing to look new. Uh, oil, brand new oil filter on it. We change the oil on everything we come through here, just part of the, one of the things we do. So when you get your car, you don't have to worry about your first oil change. Um, as far as the front end goes, looks all to be brand new stuff. Uh, I'm seeing, uh, yep, all the boots look like they're in good shape. Uh, looks like definitely upper control, or I should say upper ball joint is brand spanking new Moog on that. Same thing on this side. Uh, disc brakes here in the front. Good looking set of tires on it. Uh, power steering, the underside of our ZZ502 engine here. We're gonna get to that in just a second. Uh, another cool thing here, popular rot spot would be the low point on the front of the frame rail here. Sticking your finger up inside of there, nice and clean. I don't see any, uh, I don't feel any scale or any dirt or any of that crap inside of there. So once again, good things to see. Uh, as far as tire size go, we have 25560 R15s, radial Eagle GT2s, uh, a stock style rim that would be on this car. Moving toward the back. We do have 255-60R15. Once again, you're checking the health of the posi traction unit there. And there's, this tire doesn't want to move at all, which means the posi traction unit is very healthy. Look at the underside of all of our paintwork here. I say it all the time. This is the best way to look at a car if you're trying to pick a paint job apart. You don't look from the top, you look down, and you, know, you look from the bottom up at it. And you can see here, looks pretty nice all the way down the side of the car there. All the gaps look good. If you look down at the bottom of this door gap there, Straight as an arrow, all the way down. And that all being said, oh, and before I move on, pinch welds. You can, you can see your spot welds all the way down here, which means a low mud car. There's not a whole lot of filler in this, which is also good things to see. 
So that all being said, guys, let's go take a look at the ZZ502 under the hood. All right, guys, this is what's making all the noise here. GM ZZ502 crate short block. Now, someone has added the correct GM heads and intake manifold that this uh, engine would have. Now, these engines factory are equipped with a roller camshaft, uh, full forged rotating assembly, and uh, one piece rear main seal, which is all good things to have, more modernized engine. Uh, now, you heard me mention here, we do have the aluminum uh, correct both heads and intake manifold. Atop the intake manifold, we have a Holly 850 CFM four barrel uh, that's equipped with down leg boosters, electric choke, vacuum secondaries, uh, all good stuff. And that's very similar to the, uh, the full crate 502 uh, engine that comes with a very, very similar carburetor to just that. <clears throat> so outside of the power plant, you can see here that the rest of it is actually pretty nice on the car. A lot of it is very uh, Chevelle correct, I should say, you know, very period correct. We do have the uh, original type uh, AC compressor over here with all the AC lines. All the belts look brand new. I'm seeing brand new part numbers on all of this stuff. Everything seems to be tensioned properly. Of course, uh, you heard me mention underneath, we do have power steering. Right there's the pump. Over here we have power brakes, the correct master cylinder here, uh, disc drum. Uh, brand new looking booster, all the uh, vacuum lines look to be in good shape, they even bought, I can see, uh, the correct GM Performance uh, Chevy uh, uh, spark plug wires, which is cool to see. Now once again, all of our paint works looking good here, of course the fender was off the car, the car was blown apart to be painted, you can see that in all the detail work there. Hood hinges look to be nice, and once again, uh, you see a lot of the, the nicer restorations, you see they even go to the trouble of putting all of your insulation in the hood there, and I'm even seeing the cowl induction stuff down inside the hood here and it looks like it's all hooked up as well which is all good stuff to see correct battery topper uh, good looking radiator in it gm hoses wiring harness looks to be relatively recent probably you know a, a restoration uh, aftermarket wiring harness or you know one that was recreated for the car overall good stuff to see looks like a high quality restoration you got all of our stickers here all the factory stickers i should say that all being said guys make sure to call tom with the number below on that vanguard motor so park this chevelle in your driveway